Hello everyone, Tech Fairy here with the second in a series of video tutorials on the basics of iMovie 10 for Yosemite. In the previous tutorial, I went over how to import video footage from your camera and your computer into iMovie. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to manipulate video clips and move them into the timeline. In the upper left of the iMovie window, you can see the library, or media tray. This is where all imported media sits. The bottom half of the iMovie window is reserved for the timeline. This is where the movie you're making can be viewed and edited. To begin working on your movie, you'll need to move media from your library into the timeline. To move a whole clip, double-click on it in the library. A plus icon will appear, which you can click to insert the clip at the end of the timeline. Alternatively, you can drag the clip into the timeline, allowing you to choose where to place it. To insert part of a clip, click and hold somewhere in the clip and drag to either side. A yellow box will appear, showing the piece of the clip you have selected. You can drag the edges of the box around to capture more or less of the clip. Once you're satisfied with your selection, add it to the timeline as before. After you add several clips, you may wish to zoom out to get a better overview of your movie. A slider above and to the right of the timeline controls the zoom. By default, the slider is set to maximum zoom, so you will probably want to zoom out if you add more than a few seconds of footage to the timeline. To place a clip in the middle of a clip already in the timeline, you will need to split the clip in the timeline. To split a clip, click it at the place you want to split it, then right-click and select Split Clip. The two halves of the clip can now be manipulated independently from one another. Now you've learned how to manipulate video clips and move them into the timeline. In the next tutorial, I'll go over editing clips in the timeline. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.